The chances are we probably will break down at some point. Go dummy, go beast, oh no. I go beast. Go deep, I OG, oh no. Apply pressure, put heat on them. Put that five zero zero degrees on them. Five hundred degrees. Go dummy, go beast, oh no. I go beast. What's happening, guys? So welcome back to part three of a week on the road with the Cannon Run, keeping up with what we're up to, what we're doing, and what goes on behind the scenes. So. Last week you saw our Ferrari Testarossa get collected by NVT Limited and bought to a deal at Cambridge Car Audio for a little bit of special treatment which we're going to be showing you today and there's also another vehicle here which is owned by someone very very special from YouTube which Adil is going to be showing you around so Adil. So we've got Shmi 150's SLS Black Series in for a completely custom sound system. We're going to head into the workshop show you Ferrari and the SLS and go through all of that today. Let's go. I was starving skinny, now my weight up, got no energy. So this is our 1990 Ferrari Testarossa, which as I said, you saw last week. So just going back to the vehicle again, it's a very special car. It's called the Retro Mod because it's been upgraded with modern design of stuff. So it's got new brakes, new wheels, an upgraded engine, more power. And Adil's going to be finishing off the modern side of things with a little bit of an install, which he's going to talk to you about now. So Adil, what are you doing with your car? So we're sort of keeping with that same theme and the car originally was already a aftermarket unit, however it was sort of a modern style one and we're bringing it back to still give them features but give it a bit of a retro look. So this is the brand new Blaupunk Bremen unit. Basically it's a retro style look, however underneath here where you normally think there'd be a tape, it is USB, SD card plus all. Plus it's got Bluetooth streaming as well, so you can be safe on the road for hands free but also enjoy your own music. To do with the music we're also upgrading the speakers in the vehicle as well so we're going to have a really nice sound coming from the vehicle as well, but behind stock locations. We're not going to see anything, but it's going to look absolutely brilliant and sound brilliant too. So, old style, old looking. You'd think it'd be a tape, but it's not. You've got your memory card, you've got your USB, you've got your auxiliary, and of course, your Bluetooth. So, let's go and take the Ferrari out for a little spin on the road. Half tank, mate. The chances are we probably will break down at some point. Against the Astro. Against anything 
modern day so we can see what sort of power we're dealing with. sound systems but they also stock look but the main thing is that we design spec and install them with you in mind so we'll sit down with you go through everything in loads more detail during an audio consultation i normally spend about 30 to 40 minutes actually with each customer speccing their system so it's absolutely inch perfect for exactly what they want so it's very very important that we do that because it's it's your car at the end of the day it's your new sound system your new investment it's got to be perfect right yeah of course so, um, the lambo's second to none still works perfect never let me down everything if you've not had audio in a car before nine times out of ten your audio will stop working at some point i guarantee you. electrics will be electrics yeah. <laughs> but the install on the aventador from cambridge is just it's perfect it's never let me down it's never drained the battery it's never not worked it's never not connected to bluetooth so yeah anyway we set levels yeah set levels yeah enough about the technical shit anyway <laughs> customised it already so it's a full custom paint job plus also new wheels got a different exhaust on the vehicle as well so loads of stuff's already been done and this is the final step on the vehicle to get it how it should be with a completely custom sound system done properly sweet i don't know if you remember but our sls amg was absolutely phenomenal and this is the next level up in amg black series it just shows you the levels that cambridge car audio are working with when they've got cars of this caliber with customers of that caliber in having work done. So if you're interested, Cambridge Car Audio, they did my Aventador, they're doing the Testarossa, they're doing the Bentayga and they've got Shmi's car in. So hit them up and make sure you subscribe to their YouTube channel as well. The link is underneath Cambridge Car Audio. Thanks for watching. We're now going to go and have a look at the Liberty Walk Ferrari that I crashed last year. So we're now on the way to BHP Performance in Vista to go and see the crashed Liberty Walk Ferrari which I wrote off last year on the Mega Run. While we're here we're also going to be inspecting our Lamborghini Diablo which is having a restoration which is absolutely phenomenal. So yeah, BHP Performance. They've also recently moved to a new facility which is at an MOD base. Um, and we've been asked to host an event here so we're going to go and check that out as well and have a look around the facility but the heavy metal that Sunny works on here at BHP is phenomenal there's Ferrari race cars, Lamborghini race cars, historic race cars, historic supercars here there's all sorts of different stuff it's absolutely phenomenal and we can't think of anybody better to work on our stuff than Sunny so have a little look around enjoy the cinematics and I'll touch back base with you in five minutes
So I'm now sitting in my Liberty Walk Ferrari 458 Spider, which was one of only one in Europe. So this is the first time I've spoke openly about the accident and what happened and just actually how bad it was. We managed to keep it off social media, which was an absolute miracle because you know what social media is like. But yeah, so I was at the Hungaro ring in Hungary on Mega Run 2019. Um, we'd done six laps of the track, car was going well, times were coming down. And the brakes failed on the vehicle on the pit straight, but the pit straight is 140, 150 mile an hour pit straight. And then at the bottom there's a hairpin bend, which is about 30 to 40 miles an hour. The brakes failed just before the hairpin bend, just before the braking section. It was just, it was mad. So it literally just, we hit the wall at 105 miles an hour or something like that. And obviously you can't turn when you're doing 90, 100, it's just impossible. And I was very, very, very lucky to walk away from the vehicle. So it's a massive eye opener for me that cars do fail, especially supercars. Um, the last thing I remember being sat in the seat was glass and tires and smoke and it was nuts, it was nuts. I'd done my collarbone, I'd done my foot, done my ribs, it was bad. The shells twisted on the car, the windscreens came through as you can see, the chassis legs are gone, it's just completely totaled. So I'm gonna leave you with some cinematics of the car just so you can see exactly how bad it was. Don't think the car's not gonna come back because I'm buying a new shell from Ferrari for the vehicle and we're gonna go again with it because the Liberty Walk Monster is that famous, it cannot die a terrible death. So while we're gonna be resurrecting this vehicle, but go and have a look and see what you think. to the accident. This is the main chassis support. You can see this one close to you is very, very bent, but it's still in fact stable. Whereas this one is completely snapped. That's the chassis, like the main support. So the whole front of the car was crumbled. And as I said, as I said before in the video, I was very, very, very lucky to walk away from this crash. And I do feel very lucky to have walked away from it as well. So just remember folks, we're not invincible. And these cars do let us down from time to time. So, as you can see, we've been around BHP Performance, the calibre of this place and the motors up here is unbelievable. Lamborghini Gallardo, Mad Max Drift Car, Jaguar E-Type 4.2, look at that E-Type, they're getting so, so rare now. Dakar Land Rover, Lamborghini um, Gallardo next to you, Lamborghini Gallardo race car this side, Merchi Largo, M3 race car, Gallardo, 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 literally cars everywhere, Mark 1 Escort Valley car, Ferrari F430 trap car, Lamborghini Gallardo works race car, it's just nuts. So BHP Performance, if you need any work doing on your supercar, there is no better place to go. The calibre of work they do, the calibre of vehicles that they work on, I mean just look to the right, we've got a Lamborghini engine just sitting on a pallet next to us, brand new, ready to be dropped into a car. Probably guessing it's the Merchie Largo next to it, in fact it definitely is because it's a V12. And just pan to your left, you've got a Lamborghini Works race car sitting just there in front of you as well. The calibre of this place is insane. So this is my 1990 Lamborghini Diablo, which has been nothing but a headache since the moment I bought it and ruined my, all of my childhood dreams. So, come on, look at this. The whole car, yeah, it needs a re the paint's not great, but just come out to the back. This is where the problem really starts. So we don't have an engine at the moment. I do have the engine, but the head gasket's gone on the car and all sorts of different going on with it. But no engine. I just had the chassis redone because the chassis was on its way out. The chassis works all completed now. Before we put the engine and gearbox back in, it's going for paint because there's loads of little bits and pieces which I'm not happy with and I want it to be absolutely perfect when it's done. It is literally probably the best well-known car that Lamborghini has ever produced. Every 90s kid had it on their wall. That's why I bought it, because I had it on my wall. I had a yellow one, exactly the same as this, on my bedroom wall on the poster. And let me tell you, when I picked it up and drove it back, it just ruined everything about the car for me. The seating position's horrible, the clocks were in a disgusting place, the gear change is terrible. It's not really that fast, it doesn't handle that great, but just look at it.
Do I need a luggage room? So, we're with Sonny, who's the main man here at VHP, and he's going to tell you about what he's doing to the dive line, because I have no idea what's wrong with it, apart from everything, basically. So, Sonny, where we are. So, basically, um, we've already done some remedial chassis work, um, front and under the side of the car. Um, it's again going to get stripped, the paintwork to be done, engine and gearbox is out, the gearbox is getting rebuilt because that was a little ugly. The engine is getting rebuilt. Great. And um, whatever upgrades we deem needed, we'll do at the time. And also, we're going to take all the suspension off, do some powder coating and restoration work. So it should be lovely. We might also get some a bit of resto mod work if we feel we can improve anything while we're there. So basically, in a nutshell, it's having an engine rebuild a gearbox rebuild, a chassis rebuild, a full respray, suspension rebuild. Is there anything else not being rebuilt? The seats are lovely, we're going to leave the seats. Seats are good. So basically I bought a Lamborghini Diablo with good seats. And that's it. If you don't know about these old cars, if you're looking at buying a classic which you think is going to appreciate the money and not cost you the end of the world, get somebody to check it out first. I didn't do that. And now look. Anyway, I'm going to go before I get the grass back price. So folks, I've interrupted this YouTube vlog to have a little chat with you about ElectroZoom. ElectroZoom are one of our partners and one of our sponsors, and they've got some amazing deals coming up for Christmas on their electric scooter range. Mine is a big daddy one. It's the off-road version. It's got twin motors, it does 42 miles an hour, and it does 60 miles off a charge. So, if you're interested in a new toy for Christmas, get at ElectroZoom, quote the Canon Run, and you'll receive an amazing discount. What is going on folks? You guessed it right, Nissan GTR. So I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about this car. So it's a 2009 Nissan GTR LM700, which means it's been built by Litchfield Motors. It's over 700 horsepower. It's got hybrid turbos, upgraded fuel pumps, upgraded gearbox, Miltech exhaust system, loads and loads and loads of bits on it. The car's absolutely savage, as you're going to see now. Just turn the boost up to its top setting, so it's running 1.2 bar of boost now. I'm trying to kick the back wheels everywhere already. And GTRs to be honest and this one drives so tight and crisp it feels like it's done 5,000 miles steering's good the gearbox is good it's like very very tight which is if you know GTRs you'll know it's not common they're normally loose and clunky and bangy and this one's just not at all <laughs> Instagram, you guessed it right, it's a Nissan GTR. So yeah, well done. Obviously I left the bumper showing because I knew you'd all know what it was and I wanted to get your comments up. So yeah, Nissan GTR, work. What a car. I know we've built the hype up online for this Nissan GTR and I know you're expecting us all to keep it and do crazy stuff with it but the day after we purchased it from one of our good clients Fabian Motor Company rang us and said that they wanted to purchase the vehicle so because we've got enough heavy motors around us we decided to let it go so he's going to give you a little bit of gen on his company we'll go from there we're based in Swansea South Wales we've got about 100 cars in stock 
and uh, there'll be a link down here if you click on the link and then you can visit our, our website and see our stock so if you're in the motor if you're in the game for a new motor make sure you hit up fabian motor company as i said they're based in wales and the website is underneath they've got 100 cars in stock if you're in the game for a new car make sure you hit them up stay tuned because we're going to be moving on to the next part of the vlog very very soon thank you so folks this is my Hummer H2 that we only bought two weeks ago. Now today we were supposed to pick up our Fiesta rally car and take you around our rally track but unfortunately the car's not ready yet. So the next best thing to go around the rally track and get some splashy, puddly, drifty stuff is probably in this big old American beast. So we're going to be showing you our rally track, a little bit about it. None of you have seen it before, none of you know that we've actually got it. We've got 500 acres here in the Midlands. So yeah, we've got some tarmac, we've got some gravel, and we've got some dirt, and we've got some big ass puddles as well. So the reason we have this rally track is for photo shoots, videography, test days for our cars, inviting celebrities over that we work with for a little bit of a play, and just general crack. So let's go and do some stuff. And this is why we have a rally track, because it's crack. Literally gone flat out through the puddles, couldn't see, couldn't stop, brakes gone, window wipers weren't working, American Hummer. The only thing that's good is the engine, the gearbox, and the chassis, apart from that, none of the electrics work, basically. Well, they do, but not all of them. The reason we've got a rally track, one, is for the crack, two, because we can, three, because it's brilliant for days like this, videos, photo photographs, all sorts of different stuff. And we also invite our friends and celebrities over to have a go in our rally car. We're just mega. So yeah, let's go play. So guys thank you very much for watching this week's vlog as every week progresses they're going to get better and better and better i promise you that now over christmas obviously we're all going to see our families because we're not sad acts and we've got stuff to do ourselves so we're not going to be shooting a christmas vlog however january the 4th we are going to be back filming so we'll see you all in january have a very merry christmas from all of us at the cannon run and stay safe